Hey guys, Jessica Damo here with another Gundam MSI review, and today I'm reviewing the Gold Variant Endless Waltz Nataku. Um, there's both a yellow version and a gold version. Today we're reviewing the gold version. First off, weaponry comes with its standard weapon. We're quite familiar with this. It was uh, Ultron's in uh, the original Gundam Wing, and uh, basically this is just a redesign of Ultron. Uh, Kind of a different story version in Endless Waltz. Kind of hard to explain a little bit. But uh, same kind of weapon. Does not come with a short version. And uh, doesn't have a place to store it, sadly. But still, very cool. And uh, those do come out. So you could carry it, you know, when they're not lit up. And you can hold that in either hand. Next, of course, the Dragon Arms, which are highly improved. Very, very cool. The hand turns a little bit. And it covers up the hand, so you can see. It comes out like this, and uh, the mouth opens up. So, definitely an arm claw of death. Destroying Leos and anything in its wake. And even having a swing at wing zero. So, uh, pretty cool. Also has extenders for that. And you can either use both extenders on the same arm, or one on each arm. And uh, I'm just going to use them both on this one arm, just to give you an idea of how long this thing can get. That's pretty long, and uh, pretty feels pretty accurate to the show. You know what I mean? To have it like that. I want to crush him. There we go. <laughs> so, uh, pretty cool there. Let's go over the flexibility. Head turns 360 degrees, looks up and down. Arm goes completely around. Reasonable flexibility. Elbow joint. Hand turns 360. This can move as well. As you can see, the arm just stores up like that, unless you have the extenders on. Leg goes that far back, that far forwards, knee joint, foot joints on the ball joint. Figure can turn 360 degrees. And that pretty much covers the Ultron, uh, or rather, the Nitaku. Funny thing, all the others ha are called, you know, whatever custom. It would have been called Ultron Custom, but instead, it actually gets named Nitaku on the box. But uh, sometimes people do call it Ultron Custom. Well, I hope you enjoyed the review, and if you're looking for Gundam MSIA action figures, make sure to check out our store, Gundams R Us, your favorite arms dealer, where we get new stuff all the time. And there's a link down below for the store. Catch you guys later.